boys will be boys. And girls will be sluts, skanks, tramps, thoughts, thoughts. That hoe over there. What hoe? That hoe. Hoe. All of these words are used as a way to slut shame someone. But what exactly is slut shaming? Well, according to the dictionary, slut shaming is the act or fact of stigmatizing a woman for engaging in behavior judged to be promiscuous or sexually provocative. The key word being woman, as if you can only slut shame women, not men. But let's take a step back. What exactly makes a woman a slut or too promiscuous? A slut is a person who has sex more than like what society says they should. I personally define the word slut as someone who expresses their disapproval of one's sexual promiscuity. How I define a slut is a word people use, guys, girls, they use as a, a, a judgment on someone's sexuality and you don't have to have had sex with a lot of people to be called a slut. Uh, you could have sex with one person and can be considered a slut by somebody because that is such a, a quick, hateful go-to, just like calling somebody fat. Oh, the word slut. I guess if I had to give a definition of what people think a slut is, is someone who is sexually promiscuous. And a lot of times it is attached to women because society says that when men hook up with a lot of women, they're a stud, and when women hook up with a lot of dudes, they're a slut. According to an anonymous survey, several men classified a woman as a slut based on how many people she slept with in a year, dressing trashy, sleeping with multiple men at one time, not waiting long enough to sleep with a guy, and having sex with them on a first date. Wait, what? You're calling a woman a slut because she slept with you? You could have said no, but right. You're a man. Sleeping with a lot of women is something you're congratulated for. There's an obvious double standard towards women which leads to shaming them for daring to have a sex drive. This is not something that is new. Slut shaming is something that has been going on for years. What is new is the term slut shaming, which is, in reality is just a catchy way to signify old fashioned sexism. Women over men, just due to old mentality, that old traditional gender roles where women are to be subservient. It's a power thing. thing. Women having power uh, over something is is it, it kind of I think it scares it scares society still unfortunately stereotypes women and makes them out to be people who can't express themselves the way they want to but it also represses their personal freedom there are so many stereotypes that go into slush shaming how women are just objects for men we are only made to please men but yet are criticized if we please too many men Women are also encouraged, even expected, to present themselves as sexually knowing and sophisticated, both online and offline. Being hot or sexy is part of femininity, but with one false step, it's easy to cross the invisible and ever-shifting boundary between sexy and slutty. In other words, if you're a woman, you're damned if you don't and damned if you do. If you refrain from any expression of sexiness, you may be considered as irrelevant and unfeminine. But if you follow the guidelines, you run the risk of being judged, shamed, and policed. With social media rising, it is even easier for women to be slut-shamed. Slut is among one of the most powerful or impact-filled words in the English language. And for hundreds of millions of young women, it's a word that has very real consequences. That's because although our culture very much encourages women to be sexually active, it also punishes them, both verbally and physically, when they do so. This is especially true in this era of social media, when it's both easier for people to express themselves and at the same time, easier for them to become victims of vicious online harassment. So what can we do to stop slut shaming and create a culture that respects women when they pursue their human desires? Women are being slut shamed based on what they wear or what they do, which isn't even anyone's business. Sometimes a woman just makes a comment that people don't like and they're objectified, threatened, and slut-shamed, all because they had an opinion. So to some people, slittiness is when a woman decides to assert herself, sexually or not, which solidifies that slut-shaming is old-fashioned sexism. But men are not the only ones slut-shaming women. Women also slut-shame women. Most women slut-shame other women casually. They do not come out right and call them a slut. For example, in a research study done at Cornell University, 20 women were asked to rate their feelings about a fake peer, Joan. 
To one group of women, Joan was described as having two lifetime sexual partners. To another group, she bedded 20. The study found that women, even women who were more promiscuous themselves, rated the Joan with 20 partners as less competent, less emotionally stable, warm, and dominant than the Joan who had only bedded two. The researchers also asked a group of men about a male peer, Jim, with identical descriptions as Joan. In opposition to the female response, the young men actually rated slutty Jim as more competent and emotionally stable than prudish Jim. This led me to see if it is common for men to not be slut-shamed, but women to be slut-shamed. I don't think I've been directly slut-shamed. I personally have never been slut-shamed before. I have never been slut-shamed. Right. Um, we would go around and look at people, and or girls specifically, and if they had a thigh gap, we would say she was sexually active, she was doing a lot. My senior year of high school, he asked me to prom and I said yes. But then the guy that I really wanted to ask me to prom asked me to prom after, and I went to prom with the guy that I wanted to, and I had to tell my friend. He pushed me up against a locker, and in front of 30 kids in the hallway started calling me a slut and a whore. I was 20 years old. I went for a checkup, and you know I had just become sexually active and wanted to take you know the proper precautions. And he told me that he would not put me on birth control because a girl like me would have a different sexual partner every month. She was like, well, you know, just be really careful that you are thinking about, you know, each one of these guys and whether or not you sleep with them because it all goes into your number. At the end of the day, that was all about, you know, what somebody else thought and not what I thought about, you know, whether I was okay with my sexual experiences. Have you ever been slut shamed? Like, the short answer is yes, and it's all the time. Have you ever been called a slut? Yes. Why do you think guys slut shame girls? I think they slut shame girls because they want to feel better about themselves, like if they get turned out or something like that. Do you think girls slut shame other girls? Yes. Why? Um, maybe they get jealous of the like what the other girls do when they want to feel better about themselves. Do you think the way that guys slut shame girls is different than the way that girls slut shame girls? Um, yeah, yeah, I think so. And I think that because like the guys they want, um, it's for their pride where it's like the girls, like they're just, I don't want to say jealous, but like they want to like to feel better about themselves too. Have you ever been called a slut? No. Why do you think that guys slut shame girls? I'd say it has a lot to do with jealousy, or if like a girl has hurt that guy's ego, they might want to get back at them. Do you think that girls slut shame other girls? Most definitely, especially if like a girl, another girl slept with another girl's boyfriend or whatnot, they might want to get back at them for just the cheating that's gone on in their relationships. Do you think the way that guys slut shame girls is different than the way that girls slut shame girls? I don't know if the way that they do it is, but I'd say definitely the motive is very different between the two. Have you ever been called a slut? No. Why do you think men call women sluts? I think men call women sluts to gain power over those women. Do you think that women also slut shame other women? Yes, I do. Why do you think that? I believe it's usually uh, caused by a conflict, and it's actually that other woman trying to get power over the woman she's calling a slut. Have you ever been slut shamed? Yes. If you're comfortable, can you explain that a little bit? I was talking to a guy for a couple weeks, and I wasn't as interested in him as he was in me, so I broke it off, and then he got really upset about it and started telling all of his buddies. All right, why do you think men call women sluts? Because they're upset that they got rejected. Do you think that women slut shame other women? Definitely. Why do you think women slut shame other women? I don't know why we do it. Like, definitely if there's someone we know that has been with several men, we, we would normally call them, like, they, they sleep around, or we go 
both have not nice things, and I don't know why. Overall, we can see that slut shaming is an issue. It has a lot to do with the way society portrays women based upon old stereotypes that we are still fighting to get rid of. But we cannot let this bring us down. We need to stand up against slut shaming and let people know that we are not male accessories. We can wear what we want, sleep with who we want, and that stereotypes do not define us. We define us. Fuck slut shaming. Fuck it.